Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and this week I have a plugin that I was asked for. This is called DHIS, and I'm going to try to be brief because it's kind of thunderstormy out here, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to lose power. And I'm going to see whether I can keep the demonstration to a bit more of a minimum this time, seeing as this is a bit of a specialized plugin anyway. So here's the deal. DHIS is kind of gatey and kind of filtery. And what it exists to do is find the level of sort of background noise and step on that, cut it down. It's not like a DS because it's not looking for the loudest sounds to filter. Instead, it's looking for quiet high frequency sound to filter so that you can have a sort of quieter background noise. And I can demonstrate it in some loud, noisy rock and roll, and you turn it up so much that you can even hear what it does. Now notice that is very obvious, but we can turn it back up. But it might be easier to hear on something like a drum sample. So this is without it engaged, and then we turn it up. And that's a very powerful effect that's rolling things off real hard. But we can go even more. So it's going to try to let through high frequencies depending upon just how loud they get. But then it also keeps rolling stuff off the harder the more you push it. And of course we have a dry wet. You wouldn't even know there was a symbol there, would you? And using it in the sort of traditional D hiss kind of way would be about having it uh, like down here, say, not even this far. And you can hear that when sounds are actually happening, it's opening up its little gate and the highs can come through pretty uh, freely. But then when we hit silences, you can hear the highs start to get kind of stepped on as it engages. And we've also got stuff like here is the old sign sweep. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's watching for high frequency sound, not just only loud sound. So it'll engage its uh, roll off even on that. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. So DHIS is sort of a utility plugin. It might not be anything that you need, but it's a convenient way to put a sort of dynamic filter on stuff. And then if you've got sound happening, and there's a reason that you need to suppress the sound and make it be less bright when there's no bright stuff happening, you turn it up. And of course, people might use this for other kinds of purposes, like manipulating the audio or whatever. But this one, you can plainly see that it's stepping on the hi-hat. And if you can't plainly see it, we can crank it up until you'll hardly hear the hi-hat at all. Although, bear in mind the the louder the treble activity, the more it'll try to let it poke through anyhow. So we can really exaggerate the heck out of it 
and that incredibly loud hat is still gonna try to poke through. Compared to... In this we can hear in the reverb that uh, that hat is triggering the verb, but if we turn it on, Maybe turn it up a little more. It's going to step on the verb to the point where you're kind of subtracting the hat from the verb and not from the dry. Anywho, that is de his. And I've been very busy. I've got some cool things that I'm working on, like a, uh, a method of improving on some very fundamental EQ algorithms that are widely used, namely by quad filters. And that's looking like it's going to lead to some cool things going forward, but more will be revealed on that one. Let me uh, put together the new stuff to put out that way. For now, dehiss is essentially free, but if you wanted to be like, this is worth being a commercial plugin, then go and add $50 a year to my Patreon, because that's how I work. And I'm still in a situation where if nobody was doing that, I wouldn't still be around doing this. So there is a pretty direct connection between that and me coming up with cool new things to do, which is kind of helped by the fact that since I'm an enormous audio and music nerd, um, if people throw money at me, I use it to build things that I can sell or give to people. And that is distinct from if people throw money at me, I buy fancy toys for myself because if you buy like 10,000 LEDs or a bunch of printed circuit board material to build uh, Eurorack stuff with, um, that stuff can come back. And I like the way that works. So I guess more will be revealed as far as that's concerned as well. Um, in any case, I've got more plugins coming. I'll get back to work on those now. And I hope you enjoy DHIS. And I'll talk to you later.